video we're going to be looking at Autodesk Alt Professional 2014 and the plugin called Data Standard that is available on the subscription center for subscription customers. Data Standard in a previous video I've taken you through it and shown you some of the functionality it can be used for. In this video I'm going to show you another bit of functionality that I've created uh, based on a customer request. Um, that I did and put together in 15 minutes, just as an example to show them the power of data standard. So first of all, what have I created? Well, if I create a new document, and I'm going to create a new document using the data standard templates, I'm going to create an engineering document, I'm going to use PowerPoint, and I'm going to just put in there a title. And hit OK. Vault will go away and create that document. It categorizes as an engineering file here. And that has put it into work in progress and revision A. Down at the bottom, I've got a new tab called Cat Lifecycle. And if I change the state of this document, put that to review, you'll see that this has jumped for review. I'm going to change the state from review to released it jumps on again. Every document I select, we can see what state it's in. So I found this to be a really simple example. Um, there are holes in how it works, I'll warn you now. Um, but as I say, it was put together in 15 minutes. Okay. So how does it work? Well, data standard, when you install it, writes into program data, Autodesk, Vault 24, Team extensions, data standard, and inside there you'll find a folder called Vault. Vault has two areas, an add-in folder and configuration. In the add-in folder we'll find some PS1 files where we write the rules that we want to apply. And in the configuration I'll find a folder called files where I can write a new XAML file, which is a dialog box or basically what we see. This XML file, if I look in Visual Studio, where I've got it stored, comprises of a few elements. We've got an image of our life cycle that I've pulled in, and we've got a couple of rectangles that have got a color associated with them and have a name also associated. So you can see the name there, label work in progress, label review, released, obsolete, and quick. So why is this important? Well, data standard works by using the rules in that PS1 file. So we have a file called default PS1, and in here you'll find a function on tab context change. So basically as we change tabs or change files, it reruns this function. What I've done here is said, well, if we're looking at a file, and if we're looking at that tab, get that file and run a function called get file life. That's I've stored in a separate PS1 file. So this will call this PS1 file. And in here, I've got a function get file life. Where I'm passing down the name and if you look underneath this you'll see I've just got some simple if statements so I'm taking the name of this file I'm using that name getting the current state of that file so I'm just using the name of the lifecycle state here and if it's work in progress it's turning off and turning on different labels inside my box here. So you can see this green one, label, work in progress. If that's turned off, if I move it out of the way, you'll see it's just a white dialog box on the image. If I put it back, you can see what we're going to get. And that's all there is to it. By doing this dialog box, by doing this PS1 file, that gives us a 
very simple example. Now, this currently would only work on one type of life cycle, and obviously you may have documents in different life cycles. So we would need to build in additional functionality to look at what life cycle scheme you're in and maybe change the image in the background to suit that life cycle scheme. Another thing I'm looking at as well is that as different users log in, I would want some of these arrows to turn grey depending on their permissions. Um, that's something I'm going to be developing in the future. For now, I thought I'd give you this simple example um, that you can build yourselves just to get you started. Hopefully that's helped. If you've got any more uh, questions or you want more information, just get in touch with us here at Symmetry. My uh, details are on LinkedIn. Otherwise, you can use sales at symmetry.co.uk. For more information, please contact Symmetry on the details shown.